Uh, got us at Old Trafford, but no doubt that first half has been overshadowed by this breaking news this afternoon, which could have a seismic effect on European football. You'll have gathered some of it through that first half, no doubt, but reports are suggesting that England's traditional big six have all signed letters of intent to join a new European Super League. There is even suggestion there could be a formal announcement later this evening, along with the six clubs from England, along with uh, the three biggest clubs in Italy and Spain. And that news comes... Uh, what, less than 24 hours before UEFA's own proposals of a revamped Champions League are set to be published. Now, this is what the Premier League have had to say on this uh, in the last few minutes. The Premier League condemns any proposal that attacks the principles of open competition and sporting merit, which, which are at the heart of the domestic and European football pyramid. A European Super League will undermine the appeal of the whole game and have a deeply damaging impact on the immediate and future prospects of the Premier League and its member clubs. And all those in football who rely on our funding and solidarity to prosper. Uh, UEFA have now added a statement of their own in conjunction with the English FA, the Premier League, the Spanish Football Federation and uh, the Italian Football Federation as well and the French. We will consider all measures available to us at all levels, both judicial and sporting, in order to prevent this happening. Football is based on open competitions and sporting merit. It cannot be any other way. They add their players could be denied the chance to represent their national teams at future competitions. The Football Supporters Association put out a statement saying it's motivated by nothing but cynical greed by billionaire club owners who have zero regard for the game's traditions. Roy, what would you add to that? Totally agree with it. Well, the last few lines you've mentioned there, I think it comes down to money, greed... Obviously, we've heard nothing from FIFA yet, but it's, uh, it doesn't sound good. Let's hope they stopped in its tracks, because it's, I think it, it is just pure greed. Micah, your reaction? Yeah, I, I agree with Roy. I mean, you know, the, the Premier League has been run amazingly. We all know that clubs is an investment. It's a business at the end of the day. But what happens to the fans? What happens to the, the memories of what the fans have had over the years, they're just forgotten about for the sake of money. And that's the way football has become now. And I think it's an absolute disgrace, if I'm honest, Dave. But we talk about the big clubs, David, but if the clubs like Bayern Munich, Bayern Munich are one of the biggest clubs in the world. At least they've made a stand, which is a good start. Well, this story will no doubt run and run. Um, the clubs involved, for the avoidance of doubt, would need Premier League permission to take part. It, it seems pretty clear that they wouldn't get it. And without it, you know what that means. They would have to break away entirely from the Premier League. So the Premier League itself is at threat, it seems, with this breaking news this afternoon. We will be asking Manchester United for their comment. And we await that uh, as this afternoon progresses and this game progresses as well at Old Trafford.